Welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Joss Colchester and I'm here to present to you uh, Learning Journeys with SI Courses. Um, so this is to help you figure out the best learning journey for you uh, using our courses. There are a lot, lot of courses. We have over 25 courses and we're adding to this library um, almost every two weeks additional courses. And people often ask, what's the best um, place to start and how should I progress and so forth? The answer to that is, is not simple. It obviously depends on uh, where you're coming from, your background and where you want to go, what your interest is and so forth. Um, but this video is here to just give a, a little bit of structure to help you think about where you might start and how you might um, progress. So we've structured the courses um, in, this, in this learning journey around three different dimensions. <clears throat> Excuse me. First ones are the foundational ones. Um, so these explain key concepts in systems thinking complexity theory. And this is really where we want to start. We'll look at those in a minute. Um, secondly, we have applied uh, areas here. And this is about taking those ideas and applying them within particular areas, management or um, ecology or social science and thinking about um, how to look at those subjects uh, through a systems uh, perspective. The third set is around systems change and systems innovation and systems design. So it's a question of how do we go about doing uh, systems change? So that's where we structured it. And I'm just gonna walk you through those. I'm gonna show you some of the modules in each, some of the courses in each, um, under each category. And um, hopefully this will help you uh, figure out the best learning journey for yourself. Um, so if you're new to systems thinking, you want to start with the foundationals, um, and that's what we'll talk about first. And then it's really a question of where do you want to go from there once you've got a basic grounding in systems thinking and maybe complexity theory, um, you have those ideas. The next step is really, yeah, what's your interest, right? Are you here um, to change systems, to do systems innovation, systems design? <clears throat> in which case you might want to uh, skip on to those modules, or are you interested in applying these ideas in a particular, a particular area, management, or as I said, economics or social science or whatever it is. Um, so we'll start off with the foundationals and then we'll think about uh, the applied modules. We'll look at those and then we'll, we'll, we'll look at the systems change and systems innovation ones. So in the foundations, and I'd recommend everyone kind of starts here, um, we have at least eight or nine courses, and these are really covering the basics of what systems thinking is, uh, the key concepts, and complexity theory. So this is really where we want to start. Uh, this course, it's a very gentle, um, very simple, uh, very basic introduction to systems thinking. And uh, I'd recommend everyone who's new to systems thinking that, that they start here with this this course. It's quite a short one. Um, it would probably take you yeah, less than two hours to cover it. It's a number of <clears throat> video, video, video lessons uh, that are each about three, four minutes. And it's really laying um, the introduction to systems innovation. So pretty much everyone who's new to systems thinking should start there. Um, complexity theory introduction, if you're interested in complexity theory, um, would recommend this. Uh, it'll, explain what that is, uh, what complex systems are, so on and so forth. So we'd recommend that for most people, these two modules, these two courses. Again, the courses are relatively short and these are very digestible, uh, both of these. Um, ideas are explained in a non-technical way. Uh, it's very conceptual and graphic and, uh, and so forth, Vis visual uh, representations. <clears throat> so those, you, you, most people want to start if they're new to this subject. These additional ones are, are, are optional. This is going deeper into systems thinking uh, or more like systems theory. And um, if you really want to learn about systems thinking, then definitely take this one. Um, it's explaining what the whole paradigm is about and really how it works and so forth. Um, if you just want a brief introduction to systems and complexity, you can take those first few modules and skip over the rest in this section. But if you want to go further, um, definitely take this one. I'd recommend this one. This is going further with the complexity theory um, side of it. Now looking at complex adaptive systems. So those are the main theoretical ones. And these are a bit more specialized in the area of theory, right? Critical thinking, would recommend that to everyone, but maybe it's not your thing. Maybe you know enough there already. Emergence, it's a core concept in systems thinking. 
would recommend it if you want to really understand system thinking. If you just want a beginner's um, understanding, an overview, you can skip all of these. Um, Nonlinear science and network theory, if you want to understand complex systems and complexity theory, um, would recommend those. But th these ones are optional. The first two you should definitely take. <clears throat> so that's on the foundational side, key ideas in systems thinking and complexity theory. Here, we want to now think about applying those in different areas. So let's take a look at that. Um, talking about the application, explains how these ideas are applied in different areas um, to change our thinking about that subject. So this is still a little bit academic in some sense. Um, it's taking different subjects, different areas and applying systems thinking in that area. So the first ones are around uh, social science and political science. Um, the first one's quite substantial. Um, you can see it's about almost five hours. The second one, both of those are quite substantial. They're going more in depth into thinking about social systems and um, governance politics from a complexity uh, perspective. A um, little bit more in depth, those ones. Then economics here. Um, again, that complexity economics, you probably want to be interested in economics before taking it and finance. These ones here on ecology and sustainability. <clears throat> Uh, they're all video courses, I should say. Uh, these ones here on management and, and game theory, if that's uh, what you're interested in, it's what complexity theory will look like when applied to uh, management. And then we have technology um, courses about complex technology systems, analytics, blockchain, and so on. So all of those are optional depending on which area you're interested in. So finally, uh, looking at uh, systems innovation itself and systems change. Um, so these modules here are uh, for, for doing that. This is a foundational one. Um, if you're interested in systems innovation, would recommend everyone take this one. It's free for everyone to access and it's a really good introduction. That's the place to start if you're interested in systems innovation. If you want to you know, go very quickly through the whole thing, then you just start with the system thinking uh, course and then jump into this one. And that will give you a quick overview. Uh, system change, a little bit more in depth, uh, somewhat similar to the first one, but um, some additional models, ideas, uh, so on and so forth. Um, systems mapping, if you want to understand better how to do, do that, map a system. And then these ones here about systems design. Um, <clears throat> How do we go about designing systems? What are the key um, kind of principles and so forth? So that's that. Uh, those are all the ideas, the foundational ideas, the applied ideas and um, change, um, systems innovation, systems change. Um, hopefully it gives you a framing. As I said, I can't tell you which ones are the best for you to take. Um, if you are at the beginning and you want to kind of work through all of them, uh, then you would start with those, you would start in really the sequence um, that I presented uh, during this video. If you're um, interested in particular areas, then you'd start with that system thinking and jump into whatever area after that you, you're particularly interested in. So that's all for now. Um, I'll just say we are adding videos every two weeks or so, so there will be updates as we go along. <clears throat>